What is up, YouTube? What is up, everybody? How y'all doing today? I am your host, SGT Payne, back on another video, and today we're playing more of The Walking Dead. Ooh, it's ooh midnight. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Now. But things are getting intense, in my opinion. If you like it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video, turn notifications. So you can stay up to date. Eh, nothing else really to say. Let's just get into it, shall we? Let's go. Should have brown some food, but we'll probably find some food here. Didn't they say there's actually loot here though too? It's pretty dead though. Pretty damn dead. Man, screw this. Do like a scavenger run. Supplies and shit. <clears throat> uh. Oh, doing by the way. I don't know. Yeah, there's like no zombies here. Zombos. I figured it would be a room we fell in. Fell into. Fell through. Hi there, buddy boy. I was gonna sit here and just see if they would fall. Oh, never mind. Alright. Um, we're just scavenging around, really. At this point, we're just looking around, just taking shit. We're just gonna take shit and scrap it. This is gonna be a scrap run, I guess you could say. We need to talk. Beat this back. All right, fine. We're being called. All right. Well, while we're here, might as well just scour through, right? No point wasting a good day for a fucking just. <laughs> You left me no choice. Where'd my bottle go? You okay, bud? Damn, that fucking sound like it hurt. Stick it in your nose. I'm just killing any zombies right at this point. Just fuck it. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Get out of here. Try to nibble my hands. My hands. The room was just full of bottles. Dude was living it up. Squeak. 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 Ooh, timer. Stab, stab. Walking on by, ignoring me. You could have just kept on going. You want to pot? Oh, no. It's coast. Oh, 
rawr. I feel like the little wizard on TikTok. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? Start taking our gainer or back. <sighs> Alright, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We have bulk cutters at least. See what they got. What is new? What is, what, what is wrong Again, with you? It's good to see you. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with her? Got your bolt cutters. Can we just figure out what about flyers? What did what did the exile say? Good news. I talked to Patricia. She was doubtful at first, but she started putting the flyers out and it got people talking. She says they're ready to take the fight to the tower. This is great news. Sounds like we got our army. Time to unleash it on Mama. The Exiles have a request. Ammo's in short supply. They got weapons, I guess. And people who know how to use them. But if you want them to fight with you, they're gonna need bullets. Serendipity tourist. Enter the star of our show, Billy Bolt Cutters. We can start stealing what we need from the tower. Sneak it out to the Exiles. Echo, you can help us with that. For sure. As long as they'll actually talk to me. They will. I told Patricia you were with us. That won't be a problem anymore. Thanks, tourist. We'll contact you when the time is right. Won't be long now. Mama's end is near. Can we, uh, oh, shit. Can we, uh, figure out what's wrong with Echo's teleportation problem here? I, you know what? I, I'll be on my way. All right, now we're gonna talk to fucking Sonny. We'll wait for his ass to reply to us. Because I don't really, that's not really, it, it's not much substance there. Hmm. I'm just waiting for the big man himself to fucking show up. Then again, one's more of a pointed projectile coming in fast. Hitting one spot. A little tiny spot. And, I don't know. 50 cal. Gatling gun. With, I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I feel like, you know, they found a way to kill him quickly. Eh, whatever. What do I know? Garrick, I think his name is? Yeah. Because bomb suits are, you know, obviously, hence the name bomb suit, right up to stop a bomb. But not big. It depends on, like, how big a bomb is. Like, if you drop a fucking Moab on it, it's gonna fucking. In my opinion, I think it's gonna go shit, tits up. But. I think again, I think if you have bombs here, I think it's psycho. It's a... Floor by floor. No! Five bloody and costly weeks <laughs> to clear the entire building. Why? By the time this is our my climb fucking sin. This... And the building oh, was secure. Yeah. Our numbers were reduced to 36. 12 brave. And the sacrifices were not in vain. We had our home, our tower. Word of our success spread like wildfire. Every day, more and more survivors found their way to our gates. We welcomed them with arms wide open. them with arms wide open. We had the room to grow, and we grew quick. Hmm. Ah. <sighs>
All right, so another fresh day. And if, no sunny this time, we're just gonna run, in, I don't know. Dear New Orleans, in case you forgot, here's a reminder. The Pond King always delivers. Our doors are open. Good. Because we were going to have a chat. I have his battery still. I doubt he's going to need it. I doubt he's going to want it. He's just probably going to send it something. But, <clears throat> let's go have a chat with the Pond King for almost getting this killed. I'm gonna be up front with you, right out the gate. I backed the wrong horse, I admit it. And I'm hoping we can put my fuck up in the past and work on setting things right for the future. You're a piece of dog shit, Sonny. You fucked me over. You have every right to be angry with me, but put so you're yourself gonna help me. in my shoes. Garrick said he just wanted to talk to you, okay? So, I had to make a choice. I got my daughter to think about. Now, I don't like being on anyone's bad side, but I figured I'd avoid the bad side right there in front of me. At the time, it was the correct deal. Where's your daughter? I want her in on this conversation. We had a little spat and she locked herself up in the closet. But this right here is between you and me. She got herself involved when she told me the truth about your backstab. Yeah, guess I never should have taught her to be honest. I can hear you talking about me. Come on out and speak for yourself then. I got nothing to say to you. Leave okay, me the so fuck she alone. Alone. She's a good kid. But so we know she's, she's impulsive. Alive. And frankly, fucking stupid sometimes. I raised that child from six months old, all on my own. It's been her and me against the world for 19 years. We've been tested, and I have plenty of regrets. Nothing bigger than the arm. Had to cut it off after she got herself bit. Can you imagine having to do that to your own kid? Her begging you not to, screaming and crying. But there ain't nothing I wouldn't do for her. Of course, every time I remind her of that, she rolls her eyes. What happened to her mom? Her mom was a fool. And dangerous. Let's leave it at that. What do you know about Garrick? Garrick and I were friendly a while back. Told me all kind of messed up stories from his army days. Bomb disposal unit. Hardcore stress. Can't imagine it. But then he disappeared for a stretch. I guess he spent some time out in the bayou. When he returned, he was fucked in the head. Dark. Claimed he put all that tower bullshit behind him. Was rolling solo because he couldn't trust no one anymore. When he started ranting about you, I lent an ear. He's got it in his head that you killed his wife and daughter. Now, I'm not gonna judge you for it. It's none of my business whether you did it or not. But Garrick thinks you did. And no offense, but from what I know about that dude, I'm surprised you've lasted this long. Why should I let you live? Self-interest. We got this trade network, a mutually beneficial partnership. Now you can take me out, but my dead body is worth nothing to you. Alive, I could be the difference between you scrounging for crumbs and being the first one to eat. I'll cut you some slack, Sonny. But cross me again, and the partnership's over. I know this probably doesn't mean much, but you have my word. I found a photo of you. Figured you might want it. A photo? What are you talking about? Put it in the drawer. Give me the damn drawer. Open the fucking drawer! Sonny, open the fucking drawer!
Wait, the door's not opening. Can you open the drawer, please? You know what? God damn, this is so fucking stupid. Oh! Ah! Damn! Been a long time since I've seen this. Look at me. I'm a baby. You look like a lost puppy. <laughs> Less cute, though, am I right? Thanks for this, tourist. I don't get too many trips down memory lane these days. I always ask myself, did it ever even happen? But stuff like this reminds me that there was a life before hell opened the floodgate. Hold on. I got something for you. It's an old guitar signed by Slim Dog himself. Just gathering dust around here. But I figured you can give it a proper home. Will the two of you shut up, please? I'm trying to sleep. Stuff something in your ears, then. All right, let's get back on track here. I got some bad news. Father Carter's gone silent. Haven't heard from him in over a week. This could be catastrophic. That is bad news. When people drop off the radar, they usually don't return. Yeah, I know. I haven't slept in two days. We lose the Padre, everything we busted our ass to build is gonna crumple. The Exiles really trust the guy. Get over to the French Quarter and see what the hell is going on with him. Stick to the daylight when you go looking, will you? For safety's sake. And when you find him, if he's still breathing, send him straight. Lay some of that tourist charm on him, whatever works. But we need to keep them in the fold. I am quite the charmer when I want to be. Make sure he understands his role in all this. That is not just about our takes, but helping the Don Trotten. Blah, blah, blah. Stuff he likes to hear. I'll see you when you get back with some good news. You owe me. You owe me. I need a guy who knows how to create a bomb that can kill so destroy just kill Garrick. <sighs> fucking not helping. You're not fucking helping. Someone's <laughs> What the fuck? What's wrong with my sword? What the fuck? Wrong with the people out front here. <sighs> hmm. Suspicious?
There's a death in my soul. Never sound it or known. There's a place in. Oh, it's you. My flock, my friends, they're gone. Butchered. Who did it? Mama came to me with the proposition. If I turned my back on my people, she would welcome me into her inner circle. The Chosen, she called it. Some nonsense like that. The fortunate few who would ride out the coming storm behind the safety of the tower walls. She said that my talents would be useful in the dark times ahead. Dark times? What's that about? She didn't elaborate. I railed at her with a rage I never knew was in me, spitting threats like a foul-mouthed brute. How dare she? I told her she would burn for her sins. Damn, Padre. You some kind of gangster now? I don't know what I've become. I've lost myself. Mama said nothing. She just walked away. Two hours later, she returned in full force, slaughtered everyone. I ran and hid. In a hole. Like a filthy, despicable rat. Look, Padre. You're being too hard on yourself. No, 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 no. Not harsh enough. Lower than a rat. A roach. Good lord, my head. Swirling. I need more drink. I need to end this pain. Wait, you. You can help. No more booze. You're drunk as hell already. You need to listen to me. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Mother. I, I dropped her. Uh, speakeasy. But where? Where? God. God, my brain is useless. I'm finished. She's gone. Leave me. Let me rot. I came to help you. Tell me what you need. You are truly the patron saint of this unholy city. Take this. That gets you in. The soda machine in the alley. Clever. The speakeasy lies beyond it. She'll be in there. Somewhere. God, my infernal head won't stop spinning. My crucifix. Her ashes in there. I'll get it back for you. Thank you. Speakeasy as hell, tourist. Incarnate. Infested. Would not take it lightly. We'll get it done for you, Doc. <sighs> You're by the alley. But which alley? I just talking about I guess it's here. City hidden hole is part of the <laughs> you all saw that, right? I fucking hit a Y'all saw that, right? I hit her so many damn times with this. What are our fucking heads instructable now? Alright, let's help the father out. Vending machine near the island. Over here. Wait, 
There's an alley by. Let's head to the other exit alley. We would have side. I like brain one that looks like my cousin. These things just keep coming. Fuck, this thing has some range to it. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I think I was playing the Pleasant Well, then again. Alright, speak easy. Better machine. Aha. Has to be it, right? Fucking s that is cool as shit. Some tells me once I open that door, there's gonna be a loud alarm going off. I'll show you fucking That was just tweaking out. His will be done on Earth. Oh, holy shit! I'm gonna hold on to that later. What the fuck? Did you just change hair? Did you just change hair?
bitch. Jesus, fuck, can't hit for shit. Why are you grab- Oh my god. <laughs> Can you fucking kill him, please? Damn! <laughs> fucking everything cannot kill anything. Jesus fuck! Why? My fucking so fix the fucking game for that one. Damn! That was a fucking straight hit to the goddamn head. Like, we're gonna try this. Oh wow, that actually counted. That's not even counted for that. I even swung like I'm actually swinging a fucking sword in real life. Jesus, fuck. Open the fucking doors. Hmm. I'd rather shing the fuck out of here. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. You guys are in my way. Two for one. There we go. You're back. Unexpected. I saw you. I thought I saw you down the street among the dead. The mouth full of flesh. I found her. Your mother. Just like I said I would. Let me see. Hello, mother. I can do this. With your help, I can do this. Not sure what's going on with you, but glad to help. I have one last favor to ask of you. Sure. What is it? My whole life was spent considering the needs of others. But now I must relieve my own burdens and... And you, you were the person best suited to help me do so. Put me out of my misery. One bullet through the brain.
Whoa, hold on a second. Think this over. Take a day or two. Sober up. I've done nothing but think about it. There is no other way. End me. Sorry, but I'm not gonna play God. You need to decide your fate for yourself. Just fucking shoot me. May the Lord protect me and deliver me unto eternal life. Seems you have more of a heart than I gave you credit for. I I'm ready to listen. As I was saying, seems you have more what? of a heart what? than I gave you credit for. <laughs> I I can focus now. Sorry. Okay. I'll finish. See you have more of a heart than I gave you credit for. I will trouble you for about that. <laughs> I really get close to you, buddy. I'm, I'm sorry. All ears. Let's get back on topic. <laughs> than I gave you credit for. I'm... All right. You have my attention now. Let's get back on topic. Seems you have more of a heart than I gave you credit for. I'm all. Let me just... Let me just get on you, you know? I'm ready to listen. Now I'll finish. Seems you have more <laughs> heart than I gave you credit for. <laughs> I'm all... Sorry. But I'm not gonna play God. You need to decide your fate for yourself. Just fucking shoot me. May the Lord protect me and deliver me unto eternal life. Seems you have more of a heart than I gave you credit for. All right, I'm ready. To... I'm ready to listen. Let's get back on topic. Seems you have more of a heart than I gave you credit for. Please don't do this now. All right. Oh my God. I'm ready to listen. Lost my train of. Th Seems you have more of a. Heart. Oh. Redemption is an option, Padre. If you go out swinging, maybe that's proof that your people didn't die in vain. Mama was right about one thing. A man like you would be useful in the dark times ahead. You've been kind to me in your way, tourist. Perhaps what you're saying holds a kernel of truth. Goodbye, and thank you. That's the fucking ending I wanted. I returned okay. Why is say no? Why is there an egg? I returned it! Fuck it, whatever. I I don't know. Alright, let's see what you got to say, but <sighs> About time you got your ass here. Listen, we got ourselves another situation. Serious as a heart attack. Surprise, surprise. There ain't no time for clowning. It's Garrick. Dude's been crossing names off his shit list. And we're next. He's after you? How'd you manage to piss him off? It ain't just me. Everybody in a five block radius is in jeopardy. Garrick is the lunatic who cranked the bells for three days in Old Town. And according to my sources, he's coming for Bywater next. Who are your sources? The trade network has given me eyes, tourist. In every corner of this city. Reliable people. People who benefit from what we created. They keep tabs on Garrick. It's survival for them. Like a herd of antelope looking out for the lion. I have no reason to believe they ain't legit. Garrick was responsible for Old Town? Old Town was just the beginning. He pulled this shit in via Corolla too. And for what? It's fucking madness.
What if it was the tower? Come on now. I know you ain't no dummy. So think about it for a minute. Mama and the tower, they need the bells to run like clockwork. It's how they keep their people safe on patrol. Sure, the bells are a gigantic pain in the ass if you're scavenging, but the bells keep no viable tourists. That's an undeniable truth. And the tower benefits more than anyone. So you trust what the tower says? Hell no. But the situation is as plain as the crooked nose on your face. The tower has a certain way they operate. I may not like it, but I respect it. Garrick's nothing but a loose fucking cannon. What's your plan? I know where Garrick's hiding out. You'd be surprised what intel you can get for a can of creamed corn these days. Anyways, one of my contacts saw him coming and going out of the hotel and found an underground passage in the wine cellar. That should lead you to him. I'll take him out. But I'm not doing it as a favor for you, Sonny. Garrick's going down because I need him off my ass. As long as you eliminate him, I don't care why you do it. You get that firepower situation worked out yet? Grenade launcher. Enough said. All right then, warrior's code. <laughs> I get it. Oh shit, with all this Garrick chatter, I forgot to ask about the preacher. All this stress is killing my brain cells. The tower beat his ass down, wiped out every single one of his followers. He's the only one left. I'm surprised you haven't heard. <coughs> no, I haven't heard a thing. That's ruthless. God damn. Well, he's a bullheaded son of a bitch. I'm sure he'll find his way back from the brink. And the trade network? It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. With or without him. Sorry, I don't think a grenade launcher is going to fucking work again. But, with that on that note, if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video around, turn notifications, so you can stay up to date. Dude, I, I don't know what the fuck happened. Woman he was friendly, next he aged me, then he was friendly again. So, I, I don't know. If that ever happened to you, where he's just being friendly and stuff, you know, and he kept repeating it, you just gotta skip the dialogue and it works. So, I'll see you on Beautiful SSBs next video. Thank you for watching.